Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Today, I thought I'd take a look at Refracta. Now, Refracta is a distribution based on Devawan. <clears throat> Devawan is a uh, fork of Debian, Jesse, that um, came about because there was a split within the Debian community over uh, System D, whether System D was going to replace SysV in it as the basic nuts and bolts of the, of the Linux system. And uh, those that thought that system D was um, not um, practical or not usable decided to go off and create Devawan, which is <clears throat> basically Debian um, without system D. Now, Refracta is one of the few distributions that are based on Devawan. If you go into uh, the Devawan homepage, you'll see that they're working on a Jesse, basically a Jesse uh, alternative, Debian Jesse. Um, and as I said, it's Debian without System D. Now, if you look at distributions based on Devawan, there are not many currently. Uh, Refracta is one of them. Refracta is uh, using the XFCE desktop. Um, if you look at the home page on DistroWatch, uh, basically it says it's a Linux distribution based on a systemd free fork of Debian. Designed primarily for home con computer users, and also for use as a system rescue and recovery disk. Comes with quite a bit of software. I'll go over a little bit of it with you. Um, again, they have a home page. They, ex they uh, explain their purpose. It is uh, designed for home computer users. Uh, there's still a lot of disagreement within the Linux community over whether or not systemd should be used. Um, System D is being used by almost everybody right now. A very few not using it. So I had a couple of issues. My USB flash drive would not mount. I ended up having to add to my FSTAB file to get that uh, USB flash drive to mount. Kazam wouldn't run, uh, but if you ever run into a problem where you know, Kazam, if a Kazam does not want to run for you, especially when you're using kind of a bare bone system like this distribution, um, you, what you'll need to do is install Pulse Audio. And uh, there are some drivers within Pulse Audio that are required by Kazam and um, they're not installed out of the box with this particular distribution. So make sure you install Pulse Audio if you're gonna be doing any screencasting. Now, Refracta does pull in mostly all of the uh, distribution, the, all of the packages that you would normally get with Debbie and Jesse. Now out of the box, um, it was running about 300 megabytes of RAM. Right now I'm up to over a gig and a half because of all of the processes that I'm running currently. Uh, but out of the box, it's fairly low resource intensive, about 300 megabytes. Here, here are some statistics about the system. The kernel is 3.16. That's a relatively older kernel, um, <clears throat> but that's typical of a distribution of this nature. Stability is number one. XFCE desktop environment, no whisker menu. It's just running the standard XFCE menu system. The window manager theme is clear looks Phoenix. Uh, let's take a look to see if we can find out some other information. So it's clear looks Phoenix. Icons are Nuove XT. There are a few others available. Sans is the font. Um, it's a typical XFCE install with the older menu. 
Now, the window manager was set up a little differently than I usually like. It had single click. It also had uh, the focus would follow the mouse, which is a little bit confusing if you're used to click to focus. So I put it back on click to focus. But other than that, it's pretty standard XFCE. Now, I have not tweaked a whole lot. I haven't changed any of the um, out-of-the-box theming. This is the wallpaper that you would see. Uh, as I said, th about 300 megabytes of RAM on the uh, fresh install. Uh, you would have to go ahead and install pretty much everything that you want. Although there are lots of uh, utilities and, and settings um, you've got a screensaver, removable drives and media, preferred applications. You've got all the typical XFCE. For uh, accessories, I installed a few things. I installed LeafPad, but a lot of this uh, comes with it out of the box. I installed Chrome. Uh, let's see, for graphics, I didn't install anything, so this is what you get. Internet, I, as I said, I installed Chrome, but the rest of it, it's got WICD Network Manager. Um, NVIDIA, I installed NVIDIA using the NVIDIA driver package. It installed without a problem, although I'm only running the 340 driver. Uh, Broadcom, I installed at the command line, and it, it installed no problem at all. I installed GUVC View and Kazam and Pulse Audio Volume Control. Uh, it's got GNumeric, Abbey Word, and Atro, a document viewer. Synaptics Touchpad. Lots of system utilities. Now it does have Refractor to USB, which creates a bootable USB drive. Then you've got the Refractor Installer, which is what I use to install to a hard drive. This is a hardware install not a uh, virtual box. And then you've got Refract a Snapshot, which basically backs up your system. So pretty much everything that you need is here. Again, it depends on whether or not you're hung up on System D. But this is an alternative if you prefer not to use System D and get back to the old uh, system manager, then uh, you might want to give this a try. Uh, this particular distribution would have a limited uh, user base. Uh, it's following the Devawan uh, group that uh, is currently providing an alternative to Debian with System D. So that is it for this uh, video, guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.